ora, my name is Leilani and this is my second video log for the New Zealand National Breastfeeding Campaign. I actually recorded my first video log two weeks ago and then five days later I was able to give birth to a beautiful baby girl who we ended up naming Esther. Esther and I have now been out of the hospital for exactly one week and we've been at home. And as you can see I'm dressed pretty casually. Uh, this is one of two dressing gowns that I own. And the reason why I wanted to wear this today was just to give you a glimpse into what the reality of my first week at home has been like. I've pretty much lived in these dressing gowns. And the reason why I love to wear them is because they are the most comfortable and practical items of clothing that I have that make it easy for me to breastfeed in. Well, I just had to stop recording for a moment because Esther woke up and so we've just had a feed and here she is, she's now resting. Our first week at home has been pretty challenging um, as I've gotten used to breastfeeding again and also getting used to the new schedule that comes with breastfeeding. Now, with newborns, they can feed up to eight times a day and those feeding patterns can range between every hour to every four hours. And so in that first week, the schedule is pretty much dictated by your baby. Um, until you can actually get into a routine and that's something that Esther and I are still working on um, but in the meantime it can be really tiring and I'm just so thankful that my mum and my husband were here uh, because it was them that uh, looked after the other children and that kept the house clean and organised and who cooked the meals and that allowed me the time that I needed to rest. Um, it's definitely something that you need to plan for and be aware of and not underestimate and that's why people say that it's so important for you to get that support in the early days when you return home from the hospital with your baby. Our second biggest challenge <coughs> has been um, learning how to breastfeed and despite all the information that I was able to gather before Esther was born about uh, breastfeeding I still um, got injured nipples on my very first day and so I found that really discouraging because by day two um, I was in a lot of pain. Uh, Esther still needed to be fed and I was in too much pain to feed her and so we decided that we would supplement her breastfeeding with a bottle feed. This allowed me some grace to recover from my injuries and you know that pain is enough to put you off breastfeeding altogether. So we felt it was a positive move. Seven days later, I'm glad to say that I am now able to breastfeed exclusively. And um, it makes me feel that that was a very good outcome. Um, because those two days where we, breast, where we bottle fed her, um, which allowed me to recover, has now made it possible for me to breastfeed for the next 6 to 12 months and so that's a successful outcome for sure. And that's what I love about this national breastfeeding campaign is that it's not about breastfeed babies versus bottle feed babies um, because bottle feed babies can also turn out to be healthy and strong obviously. This is a campaign that supports women who have a desire to breastfeed, who educates them about the health benefits that come to them and to their baby as a result, and also gives them solutions to overcome challenges that also come with breastfeeding. And that's why this campaign is something that I'm proud to support and am so, so glad to be part of. Um, I think now I'll be able to go and put uh, Esther down for a little bit. And so in saying that, I guess uh, the key message for this video log is that not everyone is good at something the first time they try it. I mean, look at me, this is my, my fourth baby and I still found it very challenging in that very first week of coming out of the hospital and learning how to breastfeed. Um, but for me, it's about getting better at it every day, not about being perfect from day one. And if you can keep that thought in the back of your mind about not being perfect from day one, but getting better at it with every day, 
I believe that you too can be successful at breastfeeding, just, just like me.